they, they made a lot of big plays out there. They got a lot of talented players, and uh, it showed at times. So I thought we did a great job battling uh, for three quarters. Uh, you know, then we wore down a little bit there in the fourth quarter and, uh, and didn't finish. And, uh, you know, you're going to play top teams in this league. you gotta, you got to finish for every single play of the entire game, and, uh, and we didn't finish right there at the very end. Coach, talk about the success that you had with Dak and Tyler alternating him in the first half. Yeah, they did a good job. You know, I, you know, like I said, you know, it's good feeling. It's good to have two starting quarterbacks. I think we have two starting quarterbacks. You have guys that do some good things for us, and uh, uh, I thought they did did a pretty good job. Both of them, when they were in the game, made some big plays, made some good checks, made some uh, made things happen for us. And uh, you know, that's what that's what you want. And, I, I think they both played well. There's some things we, you know, that they're going to look at that we can improve on. You know, missed a couple throws. Uh, you know, Tyler at the fourth down at the very end right there. It's a little bit more juice on the ball. Dak's feet on that interception got his feet a little bit messed up and threw an interception right there. But, uh, you know, those are things that we can correct. Dan, did you feel like they, they used the pass to set up the run, almost kind of played backwards a little bit with Mettenberger's? <clears throat> and, and did you feel like you stopped the run early and they just had two big plays? Well, they, you know, we did. We missed some tackles early, but I mean, their quarterbacks are really good. Their receivers are really good. You know, uh, we didn't want to let them run the ball. But they had a lot of one-on-one -on -one matchups, and uh, you know, I mean, when you look at it, uh, you know, I get frustrated. If, you know, if we're missing coverage, we had guys in position. Um, I give their kids credit. We had guys in position to make plays, and their kids made some spectacular plays throughout the whole day. And uh, you know, that's what you need to do to win football games at, at this level. Coach, can you talk about the decision of when to use each of them throughout the game? Yeah, well, that was our, that was uh, as the week went on in practice, that became the plan, and uh, we always have a plan, and you know, a lot of it's determined to what happens in practice. And uh, the plan was to play both of them. Uh, uh, even the plan tweaks during the game. We were going to play Dak the first series, Tyler the second series. It went right down. Dak only played three plays. I think we scored, so we went Dak again to get a couple more plays under his belt, and we went Tyler, and he did a nice job too. And. Uh, I think the important of that was getting them both in the flow of the game. You know, Tyler hasn't played a lot, so we want to get him back in the flow of the game. Dak's been playing well, got to keep him in the flows of the game. How did you feel Tyler out there? How did I what? Feel Tyler out there? Good. I felt good. Felt good with both of them. Dan, it seems like almost a, a broken record, but it, finishing in the losses. What, what's what's happening in these losses that you just I mean, that one we wore show. down. You know, we didn't make plays in the fourth quarter. I mean, they, you know, I, I think a lot of times when you start to lose momentum against a really good team, uh, you got to make plays. And we battled and battled and battled. They, and then they, you know, I think they get some momentum. And, um, you know, we weren't able to, to come back on that last bit of momentum that they had there at the very end. And, you know, uh, that's where the, uh, the game was decided. When you look back at the second half, Dan, when when did you start to feel like the game was starting to slip away, and, and you felt like you had to, you know, get a drive here, and just it didn't happen? Well, I don't know. I felt pretty good. I mean, well, I think once we threw that interception, um, I thought that was a, a turning point right there. You know, that kind of uh, that put us down a couple scores or three scores right there. And, you know, you tell the guys, hey, this is the first score that matters, and uh, you know, we got a drive and we didn't finish it all. You know, we ended up uh, with a sack. Uh, a fourth and long, and, and then you know they made a play, tipping the ball away, fourth and long. And, you know those are plays though they they made during the day. That's what you know to give them credit. They're great on third down and fourth down, and they're you know those key moments they they didn't get the ball tipped away. They made those plays. We didn't. You talked last week about you know making full use of Jamie and Lewis, and tonight they got the ball to him seven times and didn't make games after every catch. Yeah, guys, you know, I mean, when we look at stuff that guys have to touch the ball, Jamie on's a guy that has to touch the ball. Perk's a guy that has to touch the ball. Perk had a pretty good night tonight. Um, you know, I, I think we've been able to balance and get the balls, to, the ball to different guys. Uh, you know, we put up some yards. We just didn't put up enough points. And, um, you know, we got to look at that. We've got to be, uh, we got to execute be a little bit cleaner. Also, 